Welcome to Know Before You Go for the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. My name is Father Brendan Curran, joining you once again as we reflect together on a very basic value in our faith lives. How do we not just say the right things of our faith, our experience of church, but how do we do and live into the experience of the faith lives and the faith that we profess and believe in? Seems simple, but it's an ongoing task for each of us. And each of the readings speak to a different moment of challenge that the uh, followers of God, the people of faith, are struggling with. The first reading, the reading from the book of Deuteronomy, we hear from Moses instructing and reminding and lifting up the spirit of those followers, of those Israelites, trying to continue to carry on in their journey to the promised land and recognizing that along that journey, there are doubts and uncertainties. And we must recognize that this holy mission of this holy people is reminding us that we belong to a collective whole. He says, what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God? God believes in us as holy people, the chosen people. And how do we lift that up in our collectivity among us? In many ways, the book of Deuteronomy and a few other moments and some of the other scriptures this Sunday remind us that this is a particular unique weekend in our civic calendar. It's Labor Day weekend, a time to honor, a little bit of rest, and remembering that we are called to a mission that also includes the mission to be a part of a career, a part of a job, and that it is part inherent and embedded in our human dignity. So Moses is inviting and reminding and animating those Israelites to recognize that let us never forget the sacredness of being called to belong to God as a collectivity. We don't belong as our own, my own sense of church, my own sense of people, my own sense of Israelites. We're called to be God's chosen people. We're called to be part of a collective whole. And he challenges them on that to remember, don't forget what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us. Whenever we call upon him, never forget that God is right at your side. God won't leave you behind, reminding us how we are intertwined with one another. We belong to a web of a community of life, living and breathing with its ups and downs. In the letter of St. James, our second reading this Sunday, we also remember that we are called to remember back to the theme, I feel, that is emerging through each of these scriptures this Sunday, that it's not just about the words, it's about how we live those experiences of the Word of God planted in us. A beautiful phrase, a beautiful phrase of challenge we hear of that letter of James. Be doers of the Word and not just hearers only. And sarcastically saying, not just hearers only, deluding yourselves. We can lose our perspective. And that's a great way to help us understand how to read the Gospel helping us to give perspective. What's the conflict all about? I'll get to that in a moment. But let's remember this powerful word of St. James to the earlier followers. Be doers of the word and not just hearers. Let those words become enfleshed in your word, example, and action among you. Then we go to the gospel. And in the midst of that, we lean on the gospel, reflecting back to these other scriptures to nourish us this week. The Gospel of Mark, we see that the Pharisees continue to follow and try to find ways to trap Jesus and Jesus' followers and disciples. Finding ways to trap them, aha, you don't seem to follow what our ancestors taught us. (laughs) They got caught up in the passages of this scripture this particular Sunday in the Gospel of Mark on reminding them of the holy washing of the hands before our meals, before we go to meal, didn't, I remember my mother taught me, wash your hands before you come to the table. Those are human traditions and practices. 
But the Pharisees got caught up in calling it to be something more than a human practice, a more than a human tradition. Thinking and believing and telling others and holding others to believing that is the word of God, that is what it means to be a true follower of God, obeying the law, and forgetting that it's a trapping instead of focusing on how do you live your faith that reminds you that the word of God is planted in you. How do you live your faith reminding in your actions with others that you are called to inspire in others the holy cleansing of our community and our own lives? Yes, we all have ups and downs, but we often get trapped in those trappings of trying to do practices, say the right things like our creed, go to mass on Sunday and so many more, rather than actually make our actions become the creed we profess, become the experience of being at the table of the Eucharist that we share at that meal each and every Sunday. And how appropriate that on this weekend of Labor Day, we're mindful that we are called to remember how do you practice what you preach? That's the phrase we know as people of faith. How do you practice what you say and believe and profess? And when we think about that in the place of work, in earning a decent salary, something that helps us to survive and flourish in the human condition and reality, it is something that every single person all across our communities, families, and world deserve. So on this holiday, civic holiday, where we lift up Labor Day, it's a time to honor those amazing figures of people who followed their faith and put them to action like Cesar Chavez, out with the workers in the field, seeing they didn't even have a bathroom. They never stopped in all seven days of the week. They never stopped from sunrise to sunset. How about a break? How about a time to take care of your body? Have some meal at the middle of the day. Get access to refreshment. All of those things we now take for granted were done for by folks inspired by faith to put that faith in action and remind us that there's dignity in the workplace, wherever it may call us, whatever that career path may bring us, God is alive and well and nurturing that in each and every one of us. It's a holy mission to be doers and not just listeners, to be actors and not just preachers of the experience of our faith. Our faith lives remind us, like Moses from the words in Deuteronomy, to remember that we are called to belong to a whole, or from James to remind us that we are doer, to be doers and not just listeners, or in the Gospel of Mark, reminding us that, yes, the Pharisees, some of them, may be caught up in the trappings of human practices, instead of reminding us that if you're a leper who some judge as being unholy, we remember that you are holy because God formed you in God's image and likeness. Just like you, a woman at the well that joined Jesus later in the scripture, just like you, a tax collector can be called to become an apostle and so many more. This week, let us live our faith and experience that what we say and profess, we need to share and act on from that profession of faith that we have been gifted with. Have a holy week and don't forget that God has gifted us in our jobs, wherever it may be, a holy dignity and a sacred calling and a sacred mission to put our faith into action.